All right, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you a little bit of insight into how I run my classroom using Blackboard Collaborate. It's gonna start off with my office hours. I'll do a little bit of the lecture, technical issues, individual students' questions, as well as kind of bouncing around and how they work with each other in the environment. So I'm excited to show you, hope you enjoy. All right, so this is just a little introduction on some of the software and interface that's been uh, going on with my class. So one thing you'll see is that right now I'm doing a uh, record of my entire screen. I'm using Zoom. Uh, you can get Zoom at zoom.us and download that. It's a nice free app that allows you to do video conference calls similar to Skype, but it's more of a professional interface. So it makes it a uh, much better quality in my opinion. So this is an example of the before class office hours. So right now I just have one student who's kind of joining in and uh, we're just working on whatever questions they have. We get a little bit of time until class. Class starts at two o'clock. It's currently 1.38. So I'll usually come in here with the office hours right before class and I can load up um, the presentations that I'm going to be having for today. Usually it's just one. I just have something that works. Some quick announcements, maybe a, an inspirational quote. And I have this up here so that I can remember to speak to these points before we break out into our breakout groups. All right, it's just about time for class. I'm going to go ahead and start setting up the breakout groups. Custom assignment allows students to move around. All right, everybody, and welcome. So we've got uh, a couple quick announcements before I give you your opportunity to break off into your groups. So today's quote for you all, mathematics is the music of reason. I choose this quote because the last two days you've been working through the extreme value theorem, you've been working through the mean value theorem, and in both of those situations, what you have is a lot of reasoning that has to take place. Uh, one thing about homework, the written homework and the Khan Academy homework is due uh, tonight at midnight. So just a refresher, the written homework needs to be submitted on Blackboard in the assignments category. The Khan Academy homework uh, should only be the one, and that's your linearization. That is also due at midnight. Make sure that you find a time of mind today to discuss the reflections because I want to get those in and submitted by end of day today. But I do want to draw everyone's attention to uh, a nice big congratulations. This is our first full week of doing math online. And I think it's been going quite, quite well. So I really have been seeing a lot of good learning. I've really enjoyed the fact that there have been people comfortable with sharing uh, their screen, their work, their language with each other. Um, I've seen in the online homework where students have been screencasting and sharing the, the work that they're working on right now and people have been chiming in to help walk them through the logic and that's just been absolutely fantastic. As a little side note, today is actually my birthday. So I will say that this is probably one of the best presents I could have got was you guys all kind of rolling with the, pr the punches and uh, making this classroom work so well. So. Without further ado, I am going to go ahead and make the breakout groups live. So if you want to, um, oh, all the happy birthday wishes. You guys are so sweet. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and make the breakout groups live. Please join the group that you would like to be working on for today. And then if you have any questions about um, your grades or the assignments, feel free to hang out in the main break room for just a little bit. And I'll be around to help out if you need. All right, all, you may scatter. All right, James, are you hanging out for me? Oh, yeah. Uh, I just, uh, I did redo and revise my question a bit in accordance to what you said in the email. Okay, perfect. I did it, you know, six, it by six and the six A, six B, six T, all this stuff. Join the breakout groups. Okay. Oh, there's Alex. Okay. Welcome back, Alex. Um, I did see um, on your reflections, by the way, that um, there are a couple of corrections I'm going to ask you to do. Do you think you can get to those before um, end of day? Yeah. Okay. You can go where where you submitted it online. You can click into that, and it'll show you um, your your submission, and it'll show you uh, some comments that I put on the side. Okay. And uh, the groups, there's just the. Uh, Red one and the dot number. No, there's a couple. So you can click the bottom, uh, the two purple arrows in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. There should be a couple. So in the, yeah, the two people um, icon, you should be able to see one that says reflections, one that says lecture, 
one that says online homework and one that says written homework. Now, uh, so you see them all? Yeah. Okay, so just you've kind of already seen everything on uh, Blackboard, so you can go into Blackboard and see what the lecture things are I would recommend you do today. Um, but just so you're aware, uh, those are just going to be posted for you to do anytime. So what I've been telling people um, as a recommendation is see if you can kind of flip the classroom for yourself and then do the lectures outside of class so that when you're in class, you can be working on the homework and then I can be helping you with the homework. Lectures are once in the week, so like week 10 and each of the days. Exactly. All right, that sounds all good. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. All right, go ahead and join. I'll be around. Happy birthday. Appreciate that. Hey, Marie, you get audio? One thing you can do, if you do want to join with audio, one thing you can do is you can actually join by phone. I don't know if you saw that feature, but you can go over in the My Settings and you can actually log in. Um, you can say use your phone for audio and you can actually dial in with your phone. All right, go ahead and shoot me a private message when you get the audio situation. I'm gonna go check in and see how everyone's doing in their uh, homeworks. All right, if there's nothing else, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the written homework then. Go ahead and uh, remember that you guys can raise your hand at the bottom of your screen if you want to flag me back over into this group. So what I'll normally do if I'm going to be limited to a digital workspace is I'll make sure that I've got the solution available here as a Word document and then I can reference that pretty easily to keep up with what the student is saying they're working through. And I keep the problems relatively short so that I can see where the errors occur and we don't lose the concepts. I let the online homework that they do through Khan Academy be the ones that are a little bit more rigorous. Okay. All right, then after that, um, yeah, yeah, we have to get rid of that too. And the 2M over D. I know I'm going to freak out Qua by jumping in here again, but I just wanted to kind of say that that was absolutely fantastic what you guys are kind of doing. I was listening in just a little bit. Um, so James, a couple things I really wanted to compliment you on. Fantastic job about um, kind of prompting for the answer as opposed to just kind of like saying what comes next. Then we need to check if we are maybe dividing by zero and that's not okay. So one thing I just kind of want you to do and then I'm gonna leave you guys at this point but and, and feel free to ask uh, uh, James if he was having any suggestions for it but you've got meanings for all these things. So whenever you're doing the math, make sure you're keeping track of like, what does it mean? What could it possibly be? Because that's gonna tell you if you're allowed to do these operations or not. Cool, all right, I'm gonna leave you there. Be sure to make it make, make this all equal to D prime because that's what we're trying to find. Hey. <laughs> he just like hopped in. <laughs> hey, he has like ninjas now. I am everywhere and nowhere at the exact same time. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so that was an example of a typical day in our Blackboard classroom. So I hope you kind of got a chance to see how it might function for yours. It's only taken a couple days for them to adjust to it well. So I hope this adds some inspiration. And um, if you have any other questions, check out some of the other videos I have about how I set up Blackboard to support this space and some of the theory that I have backing it up. And with that, I'll see you guys in another video.